Previously, we evaluated bulk candy stores needs and worked with them to choose Big Commerce as the foundation of their revamped e-commerce business. In this episode, we work with Bolt Candy Store to fix some of the biggest issues that are killing their conversion rates, while also tackling the complexities with shipping perishable goods. If we can fix these issues, we can cut down Bolt Candy Store's loss on perishable products, free up customer support resources to focus on growth activities, and skyrocket Bolt Candy Store's conversion rates to accelerate their growth. This is the e-commerce makeover. In this series, we're working with Bolt Candy Store to move their site from the now unsupported Magento One over to Big Commerce. As we're doing that, we're going through all the major aspects of their business and looking for opportunities to help them improve their operations. A lot of Bolt Candy Store's most costly problems are around shipping, so we want to tackle these first to make sure they're part of the initial site launch. Many of these are issues that Ken has been avoiding or trying to work around for years. He's really going to kick himself when he finds out how easy it is to actually solve these problems with the right tools. Let's talk to Ken from Bolt Candy Store to learn more about their shipping complexities so we can find the right solutions for them. What complexities do you have with shipping calculations? We have a couple of complexities. One is we have no way of knowing when people place an order, when it's going to get there. We can give them estimates. People call all the time and go, when's my order going to get here? We don't know exactly when it'll be there. I mean, we never, you never know exactly when it'll be there with shipping these days, but we, we can't give them even any kind of estimate on the website. The other really big one for us is what's called dimensional weight. If you've got a bag of popcorn that's this big, they charge you based on the dimensions of the box rather than the weight. There was no way that I knew of to be able to calculate what the actual shipping would be. All we could do was raise the weight of those bigger items and hope it got it right, but most of the time we'd wind up overcharging customers. The other problem we have with shipping is we offer an in-store pickup. Very often, three, four, five times a day, get people from Iowa, Ohio, New Jersey, ordering pickup. People will inadvertently choose pickup in the store, and now we have to get on the phone with them and see if they want to ship, and sometimes they say yes, and then, then we have to go back and charge them again. Sometimes they say no, we have to cancel the order. Tell me about your melting problem. We sell a lot of chocolate. And when we sell chocolate, particularly in the summer when it's hot, it needs to have certain things done to it if they're gonna get the chocolate safe. For example, we never ship chocolate toward the end of the week, and we always have to put in ice packs and some insulation and stuff to get it there. Chocolate can melt if it's in anything more than 76 degrees. When we ship chocolate, we have to take very special precautions with it. And one of the things that we like to do is warn our customers and say, look, we're gonna ship this to you, we're gonna put ice packs on this, but if you don't order at least second day air, it's probably gonna melt. That's because ice packs don't last any longer than two days. I mean, the last thing you want is a customer to get something that comes in melted. How transparent to your customers is your current shipping process? Currently, it's not very transparent. I want it to be as easy as possible for the customer because that's great customer service and it also frees up time on our end. We live in an Amazon world and in an Amazon world, people expect orders there typically in a day or two, sometimes even in hours. And we obviously don't do that. So we do get a lot of phone calls and emails from people saying, my order ship, when's it gonna be here? When's it gonna be here? And it takes a lot of labor. I have people who could be doing other things like packing orders or whatever. They could be doing more to build the business than just answering the phone and saying, yeah, your order shipped, here's your tracking number, it'll be there tomorrow. These don't seem like trivial issues to solve in a manner that's simple for the business to execute that doesn't hinder the user experience. Fortunately, we have the right partner for the job that is going to make this really easy for Ken and his team. Before we get into that, if you want more details on how we're helping Bolt Candy Store, go to ecommercemakeover.com for our playbook on everything we're doing, including special offers on all the tools we'll be using, and of course subscribe as we document the entire process in this series. If you're dealing with shipping complexities pre-purchase like Bolt Candy Store has, Shipper HQ is the only name that comes to mind. My name is Jared Smith, and I'm the head of sales at Shipper HQ. Shipper HQ gives a merchant total control over the shipping experience that they present to their customers in the cart and checkout of their website. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Jared? I am doing all right. You ready to talk a little bit about shipping? Absolutely. I know you have some challenges with respect to shipping and also some things that you'd like to improve. Give me a rundown on you know what, what that looks like and we'll see how we can help out. Our biggest challenge in shipping is that we do a lot of shipping of, of popcorn. 
and popcorn, as you probably know, is big and light. We have to overcharge our customers shipping and wind up refunding some of them because currently we can't figure out dimensional weight. We'd like to have maybe a little more accurate shipping rates. And I'd like to have a way of telling people about how long it's going to take to get there because people think stuff's going to be there in an hour. That totally makes sense. I mean, on on the dimensional weight side of things, I I see a lot of retailers that do that same thing. They just bump up the weight or they add a surcharge on those items in order to try to account for it. And it's great that your customers, you know, persevere and and actually make the purchase and then you can refund them. But there's probably so much money left on the table in abandoned carts for people that, that don't know and just see a huge shipping cost and then, you know, bounce off your website. What dimensional weight actually means is that many carriers will consider the literal weight of a product, let's take Ken's popcorn, right? That's something that is pretty light, but is relatively bulky. So that thing may only weigh, say, 10 ounces, but when the carrier goes to calculate the shipping cost, they're not going to look at just the literal weight. They're going to consider the weight and the dimensions in order to assign what they call a dimensional weight. So while that popcorn might weigh just, say, 10 ounces, the carrier might say, but we're going to calculate that as weighing three pounds of dimensional weight, and that's what we're going to charge to ship that package. You mentioned also, you know, showing customers when when they can expect their package. So, you know, what, what are you doing with that today? When it's shipped, they get an email from us saying, hi, your order shipped and here's your tracking number. That's it. You send that email with the tracking number. How many people actually read that and how many people just still call you up and say, hey, when's my package going to get there? All the time. The simplest and most effective strategy there is just to show it right in the cart and checkout. Just say ground is going to deliver on Thursday. Here's when you can expect it. Or if you need it sooner than Thursday, great. You can overnight it and it'll get there. And so we can consider not just the literal time that it'll take to deliver, but also, you know, how your warehouse operates, when the package is going to get out the door so that you can show customers an accurately calculated delivery date. Can you do a daily cutoff as well? We can, yeah. So you can define, you know, how your warehouse operates, both in terms of which days of the week or dates on the calendar you're shipping out. And also, like you said, when's a cutoff time for same day dispatch, after which you're going to ship out the next day. Delivery transparency is key for that checkout experience. Customers want to know who's going to deliver their package. They want to know when they're going to get it and they want to know exactly what it costs and it's really important to just give all that information to the customer right at the point of purchase so that they have confidence to check out we're not all shipping out 24 7 365 the merchant might only ship out say monday through friday and maybe orders received after 3 p.m are not going to go out that same day and so it's really important if you are going to set a delivery expectation that it considers not only the transit time but also when you're going to be able to get that package out the door in order to give your customer an accurately forecasted delivery estimate you guys have a a physical location is that something that you're trying to leverage on the website as well you're trying to offer maybe like an in-store pickup absolutely we have one now yeah, we have a big problem with that actually i have a lot of people i'll get orders from idaho and all these places and they'll be pickup and then we have to spend time calling them and contacting them and you know 50 percent of the time we save the sale what we see is the easiest way to just manage this effectively is to set some kind of restriction around where it should show up so it could be the whole state of florida it could be a 50 mile radius around your warehouse or your store or whatever makes sense for you guys they're outside they just don't see it they would never know that it's there and so there's no confusion In-store pickup is a great solution for any e-commerce merchants that also have a physical or a brick and mortar location. It can be their competitive advantage against other businesses that are e-commerce only. It's a great way to build a relationship with customers that are local, and it can also be a great way to drive up additional revenue. Shipper HQ is the perfect fit to solve these issues, but it's also great that the implementation isn't going to eat a lot of our already limited budget. We installed the app from the marketplace, made sure Bulk Candy was on the right plan for the functionality needed, configured the shipping carriers, and set up his shipping rules. We needed to go one step further and add some code to the theme to show warnings for multiple products. And that's it. It's about as easy as it could be. The site has been live for a few weeks now, and we'll get the longer term results at the end of this series, but I can't wait to hear Ken's thoughts on Shipper HQ thus far and see his reaction now that he realizes how simple these problems were to solve. Because we've been able to improve the shipping prices for large popcorn orders, have you seen an uptake in people buying that product? We are getting a lot more popcorn orders, and because of the dimensional weight, the numbers are coming in much better. We ran some tests before we, we, we put it live, and the difference was $200 to $60. So that was great. So that's definitely working, and that's something we really, we really needed. 
We're gonna have to wait until it's warm to really see the results of the changes we made to ordering chocolate. Do you think we've solved that problem? I think we've gotten a lot better. People are getting their warnings. We're able to get in whatever they need and we're able to tell them like they are when they're gonna get it. And that makes the big difference. Right. When you look at it and it says your, your order's not gonna be here for a week and you order chocolate, that's on you. <laughs> So by adding the, the, the dates that people get it, I think that's made a big difference in that. Are there any shipping issues that we didn't solve? There've been nothing that we haven't found yet, but I'm sure we'll find something at some point. But as of right now, we haven't found anything else that we need to deal with. These are problems you've been avoiding forever. Trying to find workarounds, it's been costing you sales. But now that you've got the right tools, you have Shipper HQ plugged into big commerce. How easy was it to solve these problems? I feel like a moron for not doing it two years ago. It was very easy for us to do this. The whole thing was done in maybe a day. It really makes me think we should have done this a while ago. So tell me how it's been working with Shipper HQ. I'm most excited about the dimensional weight thing, but what I like about it is it's flexible. For example, one of the things that we were looking for was a better version of in-store pickup. And when we first launched, we left in-store pickup open. And what happened was, again, people from Ohio and whatever else were ordering, I went in and I changed it just to Florida. That cut them down a lot, but I still had people from Orlando and Jackson, which are three and six hours away. So now I've cut it down to 150 miles from here. And that's taken us from three or four a day that, of which half were mistakes. Now I get one or two or three a day that are all perfect. They're all people who really want to pick up. And their support is good. I mean, we just go in there and say, we have a problem and they fix it. I don't know if anybody has better support than Chipper HQ. Yeah. They've been really, really good. I'm really impressed and really happy with them so far. Now that we've doubled Ken's conversion rates, I'm concerned that the problems with shipping orders is going to become a big issue. You can click here to watch the next video in this series where we fix their inefficiencies in packing and shipping orders. Be sure to go to ecommercemakeover.com to download our playbook on how we're growing bulk candy store and to receive special offers on the tools we'll be using. And also don't forget to subscribe to be notified when we release new episodes.